Richard Johnston fought for our freedom and served our country. Like so many Vietnam veterans, he was exposed to Agent Orange during his service and eventually died. Now, decades later, his widow is fighting for the benefits he rightfully earned as a disabled vet. After several roadblocks, she and several others finally contacted the 13 on your side help team. Charlie Tinker is on this one trying to get her some results. Charlie. That's right, Jay and Emily. Up until last year, Sue and Richard Johnston qualified for a property tax exemption because he is a disabled veteran. But after Sue moved and Richard passed away, she was told the exemption no longer qualified and now has to pay taxes on her home. So we contacted a legal expert who says Michigan law clearly states she is still entitled to that exemption. Veterans and service people have to continually fight to get what they deserve. And as a surviving spouse, I still have to fight. Sue Johnston's fight hangs on an email she says she recently got from the local tax assessor. My hope is to... I the Sparta woman's late husband was stationed in Vietnam, where he served his country as a lieutenant beginning in 1969. He trained the local people there for combat. He came in contact with the chemical known as Agent Orange while overseas. Then he had a minor procedure which woke up the poison and he immediately started having problems with balance and falling. The diagnosis was progressive supranuclear palsy. The VA determined the condition was combat related and that he was 100% disabled. Before the illness ultimately took his life in 2020, the couple applied for and later received full benefits, including a state property tax exemption intended for vets and their surviving spouses. Making a fresh start, Sue made the decision to downsize after her husband passed away, closing on her new home in July. The board would vote to deny my exemption. Because she moved, Sue was told she wouldn't qualify for the exemption this year. The idea was that someone who had been completely disabled, 100% permanent, by their uh, service with the United States military, these other states had a provision that they not pay uh, property tax. Richard Overton describes himself as a lifelong veteran advocate. A vet himself, Overton worked to get the exemption he'd seen in other states on the books here. It ultimately became uh, part of the statute. The result was MCL 2117B. The legislation says in part real property used and owned as a homestead by a disabled veteran is exempt from the collection of taxes under this act. The exemption goes on to list surviving spouses as beneficiaries if a disabled veteran who is otherwise eligible for the exemption under this section dies either before or after the exemption is granted. It couldn't be simpler and yet we're getting all kinds of interpretations about generally trying to tie the veteran not being tied to the property. Referring to a recent appeals court decision, he worries could mean a fundamental setback. The court ruled that in cases where a disabled veteran did not own the property, his or her surviving spouse is also not eligible for the exemption. But that ruling contradicts guidance from the state tax commission, which concluded the exemption was not tied to any property. When you've lost a loved one because they paid the ultimate sacrifice for the defensive needs of our nation, and so who is it more eligible for this type of benefit? Veteran advocates and legal experts like Matt Cooper say it was a bad decision and likely one that will create problems. It's absolutely going to be used as a precedent. It's ironic, they say, the people most in need of the relief are also the least able to fight for the benefits they earned. They've died because of service to this country. This is a tax benefit to their spouse, and it can be very meaningful. Sue's contacted state tax authorities, veterans advocates, and a slew of other agencies, and told me she has no intention of giving up. I'm very grateful um, for what he did get. I'm very grateful, but it was a fight. And so now I have another one. The folks you just heard from did have some advice. If you're concerned about this, if this applies to you or to somebody you know, here's what they suggest you do. Contact your state senator, contact your representative, ask them to further clarify things to ensure the folks it's intended for get it. For the Help Team, I'm Charlie Tinker reporting. Charlie, thanks so much. And if you have a problem, contact the 13 on your side help team using the info on your screen. And we, if we can get you help, we will certainly get involved.